Good morning, I'm Joanne Gruber of Quilted Treasures here in Eagle River, Alaska, and today I'd like to show you one way that I use the circular array function in Creative Studio. I am going to use a pattern that came with our Statlers and it's called Decatur Feather Border Corner and it's by My Creative Stitches. The first thing that I want to do is put one repeat of this motif on the CAD screen. So I'm going to select the design, I'm going to click the repeat patterns icon at the top of the screen, and I'm just going to click OK. Once I have one repeat of the design up on my screen, I'm going to select it. I'm going to then right click, which brings up my circular array option. I know for my particular circular array that I want a total of four copies. So I am going to type the number four in the box, and I am going to click number of copies. Once I do that, the number four changes to a three, and Creative Studio has calculated the degrees that will be needed to place the four repeats of this particular motif. Remember, it's including the design on the screen. So the design on the screen plus the number of copies gives me a total of four. The next thing I want to do is place the array center point. Okay, I want endpoints snap on, and the reason why I want it on is because I would like all four of these repeats to come up on the screen fairly close together. So you can get your endpoint snap by either tapping E on your keyboard or coming down to the bottom of the screen and clicking the large E that's located there. Once you've done that, Creative Studio is going to try to snap to an endpoint. And I'm going to click, and you can see that it has placed four repeats up on the screen. If I zoom in, I can tell that these motifs are not connected, and therefore they will not stitch out continuously. So the first thing that I want to do is to get my endpoint pattern anchors. And I, I can either do that by clicking F11 on my keyboard, or I can go up to the Draw menu and select the Endpoint Pattern Anchor. I am going to start in the upper left-hand corner. I'm going to select that first motif. I'm going to zoom in so that I can see what I'm doing. And I am going to grab the rightmost pattern anchor, and I am going to snap it to its neighbor. Okay, I am going to continue in a clockwise direction, selecting the motif, grabbing the rightmost pattern anchor, and snapping it to its neighbor. Again, I'm going to do this in a clockwise direction until all four motifs have been snapped together. Okay. Once I've done that, I want to make sure that this is going to stitch out continuously. So I'm going to select one motif. I am going to choose Order Join. All my motifs turn magenta, which assures me that they're going to stitch out continuously. If I want to save this design to use in future projects, I need to export it. In order to export it, it's a simple matter of selecting the design, right-clicking on it, select Export Pattern, choose the 2 CSQ option, and Creative Studio is going to bring up a dialog box prompting you to give it a name. It will also allow you to navigate to a location in which you wish to have it saved. Click Save. Now not only have you saved a master copy of that pattern, it has brought a copy of it into the current project for you to use. 